talk a little bit about what your your sort of current line of research is, both in, in Antarctica versus Greenland, and, and maybe mm -hmm. sort of help walk us through that. Yeah, so I'm broadly um, interested in, in glaciology and glaciers and how they're changing, how they've changed in the past hundred years and how they're going to change in the next hundred. So that's kind of the time scale that I've I've been thinking about. And I do research in Antarctica, Greenland. Um, I have a new project in the Himalayas. I've had projects in Alaska. And I think the the kind of overarching goal is trying to understand what causes glacier variability. My first trip to Greenland was in 2005 as a PhD student, and I'd been studying actually this glacier in the back, Helheim Glacier in East Greenland for my dissertation, and had been looking at imagery of where the terminus was and, and how it looked for, you know, you know, I guess for the preceding 15 years, for however long we had good satellite imagery. And then when we got there, it had retreated, you know, four miles from, from the place where it had been stable for the previous 20, 20 years. And, and that was a really new discovery then that it could change in a year that quickly. Um, and so a lot of the focus in trying to understand um, kind of current rates of sea level rise and how the ice sheets are contributing to that and how that's going to change, you know, in the next 50 to 100 years really rely on how quickly Greenland and Antarctica are, are responding to a warming climate. Um, and so when I started, Greenland in particular was kind of in balance with its current climate. You know, it was losing mass, but not um, quite as quickly as today. And that has really shifted in the past 20 years. Uh, it's really um, been accelerating its mass loss um, in ways that we understand and, and then in ways that are a little bit surprising uh, year to year in terms of what glaciers are accelerating and by how much and, and why. And so um, they've Greenland has reached, you know, a lot of headlines lately because of a lot of dramatic changes that that have taken place. And Greenland might feel very far removed, but it's very closely connected to a lot of systems that we depend on.